Hey guys, it's Marcus here, and today I'm going to show you 50 faceless YouTube channels that you can use with AI that are pretty much guaranteed to put money in your pocket. And if you're new here, I'm Marcus. I've been making money online for the last 25 years, and for 20 years, I've actually been using online video. That's right, I've been making money with video since before it was popular. And I got to tell you, with the use of new tools like OpenAI, Sora, Pictory, InVideo, and countless other AI software tools, making money online with video has never been easier. But there's one small problem. Most people teaching this are teaching vague ideas that will never make any money. They're focusing on quantity rather than quality. Instead of focusing on quantity, I focus on quality, which is how I made over $6,000 with this one video right here. And they're teaching methods that won't even make money even if you tried really hard. Yeah, you've probably seen them. They talk about niches like metaverse, sports, top 10, cars, life hacks, and other things like this that are so generic you would need to make 10 billion videos to make any money at all. But today, we're going to be working backwards. We're going to start where the money is, zero in, and focus not only on the niches, but the strategy behind the niche that's going to put money in your pocket. And yeah, you've probably seen a screenshot like this. This is one that so many faceless YouTube cash cow channel videos talk about. But I'm here to tell you right now that whenever you see this screenshot, I want your BS detector to go off in your mind because that's literally what it is. In fact, this is a screenshot from someone I know personally, and he's not making anywhere near that amount of money. Here's one from one of my channels, and we're making 10 times this much. So you have one guy making far less, another guy making far more. How do you know who to trust? And how do you know in this YouTube cash cow AI video market, who is the real deal? I'm going to let you be the judge of that, but humor me because this video could change your life. That's right, these 50 video niches that you can do without showing your face, without using your voice, and using new AI tools can put big money in your pocket. But first, we need to know how and where to find these niches and how they're even gonna make money in the first place. Because let's face it, some AI videos can't even be monetized. So if you're ready to dig in and learn the truth about AI video automation and how to make money with faceless YouTube channels, smash that like button and get ready because one of these 50 niche markets could be the one that makes you rich. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Today, we got a lot of stuff to go over. We're going to talk about how to work backwards, how to understand the real profit that lies in faceless YouTube niches. This is something super important because you're going to see Sora and other AI tools come out that tout you can make lots of money with AI video. And what we're going to do here, if I can find my little program here. We're going to go through and I'm going to show you exactly how everything works step by step so that you're not wasting your time. The number one thing that people are looking at, they don't mind spending a little bit of money if they got it. They don't mind doing the work. A lot of people want to do the work, but they don't want to waste their time. And if you're tired of wasting your time on side hustles and ideas that just don't work, Today is the video for you. Now, I'm going to have notes of this video over at downloadmynotes.com. We're going to list out all the niches. We're going to show you the profit methods and everything. Now, the notes are not completely done. I know a lot of people, they say, Marcus, where's your notes? We provide the notes after the video because I actually have people standing by making notes on this video as we do this live. So a lot of good stuff here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go through and look at what some of the other people are saying. In preparation for this video, I went through and I looked at a bunch of different stuff and a bunch of different faceless YouTube channels that people are talking about. Some people are talking about luxury, self-improvement, travel, motivation, tech, mental health, 
I mean, all this stuff that is literally crazy um, and, and very vague. A lot of people were talking about the same exact things. And how many of you guys are out there and you're like, yeah, Marcus, everything seems super vague and it seems to not be working properly. Are we getting um, an issue on our microphone? We working okay? Hopefully microphone's working okay. All right, let's see here. Microphone better? We doing okay with microphone? Let me know. I know we just switched, but we should be okay. The gain is, is pretty low. Are we doing okay? Doing better now? Let me know if it's better now. You can hear Google. Okay. Uh, what do you guys hear? It's okay? Microphone working okay? Better? All right, I think some people listen to me on like $5,000 headphones and it's like, yeah, you're going to have issues with that. Okay, so what we're looking at here is we don't want to waste our time. We don't want to have these issues where we're trying to do stuff and it's actually not working. We want to do things that are actually working. Okay, very, very important. We're going to take a look at this. We're going to understand exactly what's going on and we will try to get this microphone working a little bit better. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look. Let me make sure we're on the right microphone real quick. Yeah, we're on the right one. So uh, we'll just turn it down a little bit. Hopefully it'll be working. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to take a look and focus on things that actually do work. We're going to focus on niches that, that really work. So what I did is I went through in preparation for this training and I looked at what the other people are saying in terms of faceless YouTube channels. So we're going through and we're like, okay, everything seems to be the same. History, like I know I got a, a student here that, um, you know, they have a history channel and they did a bunch of history videos and they didn't work. They're not making any money. They're not getting very many views. Nothing seems to work. Or fitness. How many of you guys have tried something only to see that it doesn't get views, it doesn't get traction, and at the end of the day, it doesn't make any money? And that's what we're seeing here with a lot of these videos is they're literally, oh, education piano. Okay, well, that doesn't really tell me anything. What am I going to make a video about the construction of a piano and hope it makes money? What is going on here? And so when looking at this, we need to be working backwards. We need to focus on what's actually happening and what's going to work for us. So when going through, we're going to look at various different things, including ClickBank and um, different monetization methods and things like that. And what we're going to do is we are going to start backwards. Here is what we want for the criteria. Okay, The criteria is to go for a broad niche, Lots of content possibilities. Okay, we want something broad enough that's going to get traffic, something with lots of content possibilities so we don't run out of ideas and we can always get traffic. We want easy to make images. Marcus, I thought we were talking about videos. Why do we need easy to make images? Well, pay close attention because what we're going to do is we're actually going to look at Pinterest to find niches that are going to work. This is important. Humor me for a second. You're going to see how it works. Next, what we need is a direct path to money. This is where a lot of these other people are failing. They're saying, oh, hey, make a video on productivity. Okay, well, where's the path to money? Where is it? Art. Where's the path to money? What's going on here? We need to find a direct path to money and we need it to be easy and proven. We need lots of traffic and we need easy to find ideas. Now in order to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to use Etsy, Pinterest, YouTube, keyword tools, a video editor, and Sora. Okay, so we're going to look at this and we're going to focus on exactly what is going on. We're going to work backwards. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Let's go over here and, and map this thing out. Okay, what we're going to do here is first we're going to find where the money is. 
Okay, where is the money? How are we going to make money in our niche? Now, a lot of people are talking about just doing monetization, which is okay. It's a small fraction of the amount of money you can make. It's okay. It's not the greatest. What we're going to do is we're going to look at something very specific. What we're going to do is we're going to find multiple offers in our niche. Okay, we want multiple things that we can offer to our audience. We want multiple things that they can do that's going to make us money. This is first and foremost what we are going to do. Okay? If you do not know this part of the equation, don't go looking for niches. Okay? Fact. Now, in order to find the niches, and the ideas for the YouTube channels that you can use AI, Sora, all these other tools with, what we're going to do is we're going to look at what people are already consuming content in. We're going to look at sites like Pinterest. Why are we going to look at Pinterest? Because Pinterest is something where these types of things can be made easy. There are lots of pins that get lots of views that could simply be described on a short video that can get tons and tons of traction traffic money. Now, when we look at this, we need to think about what is our video strategy going to be to look at these niches, okay? Very important. So, when we go through, we are going to go through and we are going to look at all these other ones here, okay? Are we still having issues with the microphone? Yeah, I, yeah. It, what, what's going on? Testing, testing. Microphone better now? Type 57 if it's better. I don't know why this is just adjusting on its own, but hopefully it's working now. Is it working? Good. Okay. So when we're going through, we need to look at these things. We need to understand exactly what's going on. We need to understand where the money is at. All right. A lot of people are looking at it and we're like, okay. Okay, can you guys still hear me? Okay, let me know if the microphone is working now. Testing. Hello, hello, hello. Testing. Is it working? Better? Okay. We're going to leave it there, even if people complain. Because sometimes people are like, hey, you know, what's going on there? It's working? Type 100 if the audio is working better. Okay, cool. Looks like it's working good. If you're having issues with it, adjust your speakers. Let's try to get back to the actual stuff here um, and look at this and go from there, okay? So now we're going to look at this and we're going to say, okay, what are we going to use to make this work? When we go through, we are going to look at different things on Pinterest and we're going to look at different things that are actually working, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to look at this. Now, the idea came here from... Um, a Pinterest channel that I set up, we actually had outsourced, and now it is getting uh, 10,000 monthly views. Now, I have a student of mine, which we interviewed yesterday. Um, that interview can be found in, um, in our Blog Profit Network, okay? So you can watch it there and, and go from there and make it work. So very simple, very easy, and we're going to go through. Are we getting static again? I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, we could just cancel the show if it's not working. I don't know what's... I don't know how to fix it. Are we getting, is the sound working? Testing.
Okay, yeah, I don't know what, uh, I, I, let's just try it. Testing. Does this sound better? Testing. One, two, three. Sound better? Let me know if it sounds better. Type 42 if it sounds good. 42 if it sounds good. Type 42. Is it working better now? Made it bad again? Yeah, I have no idea then, yeah. Testing, hello, hello, hello. Testing, hello. Okay, so that was better? Is it working better now? Hopefully. Okay, I'm just gonna ignore everyone's comments because half the people say it's perfect, half say it's not. Figure it out on your, your, your speakers. Okay, is it good now? We doing okay? Type 100 if you like it. If you don't like it, I don't know what to do. All right, so back to this. What we're looking at here is LOL Biz is a, um, a Pinterest that I started. We actually outsourced this, it was all outsource. I didn't do anything. I just told them what to do. They built it. We are up to about 10,000 monthly views. Now, what I was thinking with this, and there are videos in the description that go over this, is go through and read the pin as a short video. This is something people do all the time. It makes tons of money. It's super easy. It's super simple. All you got to do is make it work and look at it and say, okay, what's actually working here? Now, when we go through, we need to understand what a niche looks like. When I go through and I look at a niche, like this one here, okay, this is a faceless channel idea that absolutely works. What the idea is, I'll give you an overview of where this came from and then we'll look at how the ideas work. This faceless YouTube channel idea was based on the idea of, I can find a bunch of drop shipping products that make lots of money, like the emoji pillow, French fry holder, some kind of cat thing, all these other things that make money, all I need to do is templatize the process. So when I go through, I'm gonna look at it and I'm gonna say my niche needs to be templatized, okay? I need to have something that I can do one, two, three, four, five, over and over and over and over again. You will see this in lots of YouTube channels, whether they're faceless, whether they're AI, you're gonna see this everywhere. It's the same exact platform. It's the same storyline. You watch reality TV, same kind of thing. They drag it out for a reason. They have one, two, three, four, five. That way, when they go to create the content, to film the thing, it's all set in one deal. Now, when looking at it this way and looking at the drop shipping examples here, we are looking at, okay, how much does this make? What is the product? How does it work? What's the screenshot? Also, we go through and we look at where do we buy this thing? How much does it cost wholesale? How much traffic is there? We're looking at a systematic process. Now, when looking at the different faceless niches, we need to ask ourselves which of these are going to fit the criteria so that we can make money, all right? Again, when looking at the drop shipping example here, obviously my end game is I want people to go to a drop shipping course or sign up for, um, sign up for 
Shopify, which pays like $300 commission. I want something like that that's going to work in a very strategic way. This needs to be systematic. It needs to be easy. It needs to be something that anyone can do, and it's going to work. So when we're looking at the niches the other guys talk about, like productivity, okay, but what do we mean with productivity? What's the end game? Cooking? What do we mean with that? What's the end game? Art? They say, you know, basically go be Bob Ross. Okay, good luck with that. First of all, you need amazing hair. And second of all, you need to learn to paint. And third of all, Bob Ross had a product he could sell, which is how he was able to make money with that. Photography, meditation, a lot of these are very broad. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, well, how do I do this in a way that is going to make sense and also make money, right? How do I go through and look at this to where something's going to work in a strategic way? Maybe I could go through and say productivity, right? Like this and see what's out there for productivity, okay? Production, productivity. Uh, maybe you could do something for like work or something like that, okay? And we're looking at it and saying, okay, there are ways to make money here there is something, but again, we need to do this in a strategic way and understand, again, what is our end game? How are we going to make money with this? So when we go through and we look at something like Offer Vault, let's say we wanted to go through and do a niche like hairstyles, okay? Again, before I get into this niche, this is number one on our list of 50 if you're taking notes. When I look at hairstyles, I need to think okay, at the end of the day, how am I going to make money with this? This is where we go into working backwards, all right? If I have hairstyles, are there different offers for like great clips or uh, hair salons or are there like hair dyes you can buy, um, different things like that? Are there, you know, different membership sites that have hairstyles, different things like this or beauty offers or hair straighteners or flat irons? The reason I want to do this is because if I just do hairstyles as a whole, guy hairstyles, girl hairstyles, spiky, low, high maintenance, low maintenance, I mean, what are we doing? Now, if you were to go out there and say, okay, instead of hairstyles, I am going to focus on flat, straightened hairstyles. Why am I going to focus on that? Because the flat iron sells the stuff. Right, so when we go through, instead of just going for hairstyles, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna say, well, maybe there's like a, um, let's see here, I'll do it over here so it's family friendly, right? We'll do hair. Okay, so you have like hair growth, different things like that. And when looking at Offer Vault, this is showing what they pay, okay? This is what they pay. We could also do something like there's probably a flat iron and then you can also be a um, hair. You can also be an affiliate of Amazon and sell flat irons that way. Different things like that where you're looking at uh, health and beauty, uh, all kinds of different offers that we can use for hairstyles, rescue hair, hair loss supplement, all kinds of different things here that can work in a very simple way. Okay, there's hair straighteners, all kinds of stuff. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at this niche in a different way. And we're going to understand, okay, with this faceless idea, where's our end game? How's it going to work? Or let's say number two, we were going to go into a niche like tattoos. Again, looking at Pinterest and looking at Pinterest trends, you're going to see that this, is, this works like crazy. Like here was one I found about clean food breakfast. Okay, very simple. We look at this and we're like, okay, this thing is trending like crazy. And again, sit tight. I'm going to show you some domains, some niches, and the whole nine yards of how this works. Because, ladies and gentlemen, our idea of using a faceless YouTube channel is part of a bigger picture. Okay, if you're just out there and you're saying, I just want to put videos up with AI and spam the internet with junk content, good luck with that, right? That's at the end of the day, it's not going to last long, it's not going to work well. But if I focus on something very specific and I say, okay, Maybe I can do hair straightener, or one of the examples I'm going to show you I found on Pinterest as well was for nails, right? Nails was a big one where we're looking at, okay, fingernail designs, um, Easter fingernails, different things of that nature, okay? This is part of a bigger picture. 
what we're doing is we're creating content because if you create the pin, now you can create a video from the pin. If you have a video from the pin, now you can use AI to make content for a website. This is where you start to build a big business and everything's going to help each other. If you have a pin and then you say, hey, watch the video from the pin, now you're gonna get traffic from that or download this pin, you're, you have the video, download this pin on my website or whatever it is, download the infographic. And you're gonna start to see that this is part of a bigger strategy, okay? And when we look at this strategy, we could say something like uh, nails. When we look at fingernails, okay, we see that it is absolutely trending. We have nails ideas, nail art, elegant nails, nails inspiration, a lot of traffic, very easy content to make. I can go and I can generate images of specific types of fingernail designs on AI. Okay, it's not hard to do. It's actually very, very easy. And looking at this, now I can go and build this as part of something bigger. Now, you're gonna notice that what I do is I pair lots of things with each other. This is an example of some of the domains that I recently bought on uh, GoDaddy auctions. We buy auction domains and niches that are built that we can build even more. And starting to look at this, we're like, okay, I need a multifaceted approach. If I'm just out there saying, okay, AI, make me 500 videos on animals. Okay, what does that even mean? Make videos on meditation. What does that even mean? How are we gonna get them in there? What I'm doing is I'm taking this and saying, okay, maybe I could do something like this, betting versus. Okay, interesting, I got this domain for 40 bucks, right? <laughs> Literally didn't cost much at all. And when we look at the domain, right, we're gonna see that it has the ideas and everything built in with it, right? So it had uh, 1,200 different keywords, which is 1,200, I mean, think about this. The gurus are like, buy my course for a bazillion dollars, Okay, well, you could buy my course or not, I really don't care, but at least go buy a $40 domain and use that as the basis for your Pinterest and your YouTube and all this other stuff because now, look at this. I have a built-in strategy, right? Here we go, I have all these keywords here that we can use and what you're gonna see, I think at the peak, this one had like 1,200 keywords. So you have sleep number versus, okay, cool. So now, how many of you guys, stop right here, how many of you guys are seeing, hey, wait a minute, instead of using the niche sleep, now you're using sleep product A versus other product. That's a niche. Let me show you what I mean. Now, when we look at this, we're gonna see Sleep number versus. So if I do a YouTube search for like sleep number versus, okay, this is such easy content to make with AI. I mean, it's not even funny. So if we do sleep number versus, watch what happens here. Now we are making decisions based on data. Airpedic versus sleep number. Nectar versus sleep number. Sleep number versus sat. Sleep. I mean, how many of you guys are looking at this and you're like, oh, wait a minute. So a lot of these are actually faceless, right? And we're looking at it, it's like, wait a minute, these can actually work in a super simple way. All right, when they're all running camera, there we go. And when we look at this, we can see this actually works in a very, very simple way. A lot of these are faceless, 18,000 views, 81,000, 58, 88. So we have lots and lots of views here that are on this topic, and that's just sleep number versus, okay? And we start to look at this and we start to understand exactly what's going on, okay? Follow, let's wait till everyone catches up here. Now, when we do the same kind of thing, and we're like, okay, what about Serta I Comfort versus? Okay, watch this, very, very, very simple. Serta Eye Comfort, 8,000, 56,000. We're seeing now these have lots of views. And this here looks like it's a faceless one, 
Um, a lot of these are faceless, and you can do with AI and say, okay, here's the different, here's all that. Very, very simple. And we start to understand, hey, this works like crazy. All right? And looking at this, I'm like, okay, now I got 1,200 different ideas of videos I can do. Now, again, remember, we want to focus on good quality content. We want to focus on things people actually want. And looking at this, we have data that's going to work. Now, let me show you something that goes even more. If we were to do, let me just do this off screen to make sure, or actually, I think we could do it here. Let's do uh, sleep number and see if people are looking up uh, sleep number beds and different things like that. Okay, so sleep number. Okay, um, you have different stuff here, how to get better sleep. Okay, starting to understand exactly what's going on. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. We have traffic in this market. So we're seeing that before we get into anything, we need to prove the concept and look at how we're going to make money. Now, in this market, how would we make money? Well, we could go through. We can look at sites like OfferVault. I think I have it pulled up over here. Okay. And we can do something like uh, Mattress. Okay. So we have something like Mattress here where the Satvia mattress, if I can speak correctly, pays $480 a sale. Uh, this sleep mattress, that's a cost per lead, so they just put an email in. Um, all these other ones here that are working very, very, very well. Um, you could do sleep there. I'm going to be a little cautious on that one because I don't know what's going to come up when you type that in there. But you're going to start to see, okay, here is a strategy. Now, looking at something like this, yes, we can build pins, we can build something that is going to help the market at the end of the day. Now, before we go any further, how many of you guys understand we need a market that fits these criteria? I'm going to go through the criteria again, and then we'll talk about some of these other niches. One, it's got to be broad. Okay, the sleep one's broad. Everyone uses a mattress. Everyone goes to bed every night. Lots of content possibilities. Yes, this versus that. How to get better sleep. 10 tips to sleep. What not to eat before bed how to position yourself to sleep better, all kinds of different content ideas that can work really well. And is it easy to make images and videos? Totally, right? Okay, here's the five things. Don't eat an apple before bed or whatever it is. Very simple, very easy. Um, is it easy to make videos? Yes, doing this versus that, super easy content to make. Is there a direct path to money? Yes, when we're looking at this, we need to know first and foremost, what's the direct path to money? Well, hey, if my content gets me one sale of the Satva mattress, that's $480 a day, right? If I get one sale a day, that's not unheard of with this type of marketing. This is something that can work in a very simple way. And there are lots of other mattresses as well. Uh, let's do sleep number. I'm sure something like that comes up. Or uh, let's do sleep. Try that. Yeah, so here we have, should make sure it's clean. Um, different products for like people who have trouble sleeping, all kinds of stuff like that. So very, very cool, very easy. Here's some pillows, sell some pillows and get 61 bucks. Um, very, very cool. So now we start to look at this and we're like, okay, cool. Now I see it's got a direct path to money. It's got proven lots of traffic. It's easy to find ideas. Now, in order to use this, we're going to look at, okay, are we going to use Pinterest? Are we going to use a blog? Yes, we can use a blog and this one would work good. Now, when looking for a domain name for your niche, make sure it's really easy. Betting versus, that's an easy one. It's not too hard to remember. It's pretty simple. Another one we got, uh, which I sold to a student, was a mattress one, which did the same kind of stuff. Now, the keywords on that one were, were way better. Um, but now we're starting to see, okay, I see how this works, okay? Pinterest, you see here, um, there's a proof of concept when looking at, okay, she's got 500,000 monthly views. If you took the content and made it on YouTube, it's not gonna be that hard. Again, we are making good content. Even if you're using AI, make good content, okay? Then you can also check ClickBank and stuff like that. Now, when looking at these, some of the niches are gonna be a little different. Tattoo niche, can't really sell a tattoo online. You can sell tattoo designs, which Yes, yours truly has sold hundreds of thousands of dollars 
of tattoo uh, designs online when I had my tattoo website. It was kind of a famous website back in its day. And uh, we did affiliate offers where we got paid when people printed a specific tattoo. Okay, that's something you could do, or you could link to Etsy. So in the example of the fingernail one, okay, uh, the fingernail domain I bought, it was quite a bit more expensive. It was Nails FAQ. Um, this one here, right, again, it's a short domain. It's a good domain. It ranked for 18,000 keywords. It's got lots of content that we can create, lots of stuff we can build up, right? It's a the site doesn't exist anymore. We're going to build it up. We bought it as a site to build. And now when looking at this, I'm like, oh, so now I can go through and look at, okay, Pinterest, you can do um, spring nails. And you can see, look at the trending, okay? Then when you look at Pinterest, we can go over here and search for uh, spring nails, right, like this. Well, let's do, uh, let's see, okay, I think I do, that's on my pin, okay, we need to go to regular Pinterest, hold on one second, so we'll go over here, we'll go to regular Pinterest, and let's see here, Pinterest, do, 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 do. where's our search box, okay, there we go, okay, so with spring nails, you can see all the different types of fingernails there like this, now again, all you would have to do is make videos that are like, hey, here's the top uh, spring fingernails ideas. Oh, this one has an Easter bunny. This one has a, a flower. This one has Easter eggs. Things like that. Now, when looking at these, again, we want to think outside the box and think of ways that we can profit, right? Uh, can I link to Etsy, right? Okay, there's Etsy there. You want to start an Etsy store and make a bunch of money? I know a lot of people talk about that, and it is doable. What we're going to do is we are going to rig the game in our favor by getting traffic with our video channel. Okay, so we'll go through, and we could say um, nails, let's do spring nails. And what you'll see is people on Etsy are selling all this kind of stuff, which you could drop ship, you can do all kinds of things. Again, when it comes to making money, we need to be creative and flexible. Like if I'm going to make more drop shipping something, that's when I decide to drop ship. Not because some guru told me to drop ship, because my traffic supports it. When I was in the gas-powered scooter market, our traffic supported drop shipping. If you were in this, see here, you got bunny hop nails, um, oh my nails, and you're gonna see like, this is how this stuff is built. It's built on traffic that's already there and you could literally talk about the different things. Very, very important. So when we're making money, we're gonna look at Etsy. We're gonna look at um, offers on Offer Vault, maybe fingernails or fingernail designs or paint or uh, press on ones and stuff like that. But how many of you guys right away, you see how a domain like the nails one I bought is a game changer? Like now all I do is go in and bada bing, bada boom, I create content, knock them down and start making money. And all I'm going to do is drive traffic in a strategic way. So instead of going for the niches like productivity and music, like music, seriously, that's your advice? Go, go start a music channel? But I don't know how to play any music. I don't know anything about music. If I try to sing, I think everyone will leave more than they left in the beginning when we had um, audio trouble. They probably wish I had audio trouble if I started singing. And we start to realize, okay, I need to be much more strategic. And if I'm going to use Sora or other stuff like that, I need to focus. Okay? This is about focus. Somewhere along the line, when AI came around, people started thinking, oh, well, you know, we just need to create more content, aka spam. That's not the best thing to do. Can it make money? It can, but what if you focus on one thing and do it really, really good? What if all I did was focus on the nails, okay? So niche number one, hairstyles. Again, am I doing flat iron or something specific? Maybe I do hairstyles for like split ends and there's a product to help with split ends or something like that. If I'm doing tattoos, again, Think about different things. Maybe there's Bible tattoos or um, arm tattoos, leg tattoos, or whatever it is, okay? Nail designs. This is one of my favorites, which is why I bought the $1,000 domain in it. Very cool. Another one, which is actually really interesting, is coloring pages. This is one that I found on uh, Pinterest that does really, really well. Um, let me see here. Where do we go? 
coloring pages does really well on Pinterest. You can see it trends like crazy. Right now, people are probably looking for um, Easter coloring pages and stuff like that. It's something that's very consistent. Um, you can see here Christmas is a big spike for these. And literally all you would have to do is have AI make some coloring pages of Santa. You sit there and color them in and talk about them. And then, ladies and gentlemen, the secret piece de resistance. I think I said that right. I don't know. I said it like Garfield says it. But at any rate, what we're going to look at is um, the end game. The end game is how do we lead them to something else? Okay, if they're doing nails, click here to print my nails guide. If you're doing uh, coloring pages, click here to get the coloring pages I used in the video. If you're watching this video here, go to downloadmynotes.com to get the notes from the video. And we start to realize, oh, okay, now I see how it works. And we actually have, um, I have a friend who is in the coloring market, in the drawing market, and he does really, really well on YouTube. Uh, the Easter Bunny or Santa, oh yeah, whatever you want. You could have him color a cowboy, I don't know, whatever, whatever uh, people are searching for, right? I'll, I'll go based on anything. Um, when going for coloring pages, okay, now we think, okay, how are we going to make money with this? Well, let's go niche specific. Instead of just coloring pages, what if I did coloring pages that help with anxiety? Ah, okay, how many of you guys are seeing, I see how this works now. Word games. This is one that works really good. You can create lots of pins, lots of videos about word games. Um, if you were to look on YouTube, there's lots of stuff with word games. Again, what you would sell in these examples would most likely be either a downloadable coloring pages, downloadable word games, or even something like Etsy, or even cooking people and having them go to Amazon for the best word game books and, and color pages. Again, we need to keep everything very, very tight knit, very, very close to the money method, okay? Another one we have here uh, that I bought a domain for was Animal Mash. Um, this is one I thought would be a little bit more fun and it's gonna take a lot more traffic, but in the end, it can probably make a lot of money. I've seen this happen on a lot of them. Uh, the idea was Animal Mash was a domain I bought, and I thought, okay, what if we used AI to cross animal with this animal? Much like this, you probably saw, I think Jake Paul made this thing, but it ended up being like a complete uh, not good investment, to put it the nice way. Um, he created this thing here, which was like the horse shark, right? Uh, kind of interesting, and I found this on Amazon because, you know, who doesn't want to buy a horse shark. I mean, come on now. Um, but the idea was mash a bunch of animals together, make something interesting, something that uh, people would get entertainment out of, and then maybe they could go to your site and submit their own stuff. You can have giveaways and, and products and things like that. Um, that would work really well as well. Now, when getting into some other things like decorating ideas, um, decorating ideas are great because, again, it's product driven. All you do is say, here's the top 10 decorative lamps for you know, reading nooks or whatever it is. Um, or here are the top uh, bathroom towel hangers or, or whatever. Very easy content to make. And when you look at it, it is something that absolutely will work. Now, again, what we want to do, let me see if I can find this here, uh, top bathroom designs or whatever, okay? Or let's do top bathroom sink organization. Okay, there we go. So top bathroom sink organization. Okay, something very easy. Now, I can't do this niche because I am the most unorganized person in the world, as everyone who works for me probably knows. Um, but you can see here, 130,000. Amazon bathroom organization hacks under $35. Super simple. 10 bathroom counter decor uh, organization. Looks Again, looks like that's a faceless one. Um, bathroom organization ideas. Uh, here's some other stuff. Now, when looking at this, we need to start to say, okay, again, a lot of these are faceless. A lot of these are very simple. That's a three minute video. And it looks like, it doesn't even look like those are videos. It looks like those are static images. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we are going to pair this with what's going to make money. What's going to make money? Click in the link in the description for my list of the 10 tips and the products mentioned in the video. People are gonna want more stuff 
from you. And if I double down and say, hey, here's 10 tips for this, here's 10 tips for that organization, this, that, and the other, we can start to realize, oh, wait a minute, our end game isn't just going to be monetization, okay? It's going to be all the other stuff, organize, organization. Let's see, organization. Something like this, a closet organization. And sometimes you'll see these offers pay as much as $60 for a lead. Um, and you can even do, you know, bathroom or, or whatever it is, plumbers, because a lot of these guys, if they're like me, they will probably ruin their house trying to fix their house. Uh, and you can see here, okay, bathroom remodeling. Okay, that's a good one. Again, that's something you can do with AI. Just be straight up and honest about it. Here are 10 crazy AI bathroom remodels you need to see, right? You make the video, you say, hey, you wanna remodel your bathroom? Go over here uh, to get info on it. And what's gonna happen is we're now in a tight niche group, which is gonna signal, hey, this is what people want. This is what we want, very simple, okay? Very on point. Budget and finance, these are fantastic. We can go through and do um, all kinds of budgeting stuff where it's like, okay, here are ways to pay off your credit card. Here are ways to save money on groceries. Here are ways to save money on this. Here's ways to make money on this. Very simple. Excel, you could do different Excel hacks. I mean, you look at it and when we focus on um, budgeting, right? If we were to go to YouTube, and look at budget, look at all the videos here about budget. Um, you Payday routine, you got beginner's guide to budgeting. Again, looks like a fake, uh, a faceless channel there. Um, how to do budget and stick to it. All kinds of budgeting ideas, and there is a ton of content. Monthly budget uh, overview, uh, real life budget. And all they're doing is talking about budgeting. Again, looking at Pinterest is a fantastic way uh, to look at these niches because when you look at budget, all they're doing is they have budget templates and spreadsheets. Again, you say, well, what kind of content would I make? Using AI voice or your own voice and a picture of a budget, you show them how to fill it out. It's so simple. Again, good content. What are people going to actually resonate with? Well, what are they resonating with here? And you start to look at this and you're like, okay, if I had a Pinterest. So what I would recommend is start with a Pinterest, right? Because if you could start with a Pinterest and say, okay, maybe I'll do something like budgeting. All right, this stuff gets traffic. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Here's a budget category. Um, and you could start to realize, okay, these people are doing this. Here's uh, budgets. Okay, she's doing budgets. Almost a million monthly views. I have a student right now doing this with a million monthly views. Uh, I think he's at 700,000-ish for the last month, but the month before that, he was at like 1.1 million. It does fluctuate, obviously, but starting to look at that, you're like, okay, I can do the budgeting stuff, and if I start with a niche and start with Pinterest, now I have the image. Now all I need to do is make a video explaining the image. And if you double down and you keep doing the same niche and the same good quality content, but different stuff, right? Here's the bathroom organizing. Here's the toilet organizer. Here's this organizer. Here's this or that or the other. Then you start to realize, oh, hey, wait a minute. This is where the rubber meets the road. Uh, using Excel, we got, I talked about her lots of times on this channel. There's a gal who made a million dollar business. I think she had a launch and did like a million dollars in a couple of days or something like that. Um, and all she did was teach and share Excel tips, right? Excel, um, you look at this and it's like, okay, how to create these account. Here's one day ago, 25,000 views. Um, Excel tutorial, 1 million views. Excel for beginners. And they're focusing on very specific things you can do in Excel. And again, all you need to do is say, okay, what are the things that can be done in Excel, which you could do with ChatGPT or whatever AI. You could do uh, please list 100 easy Excel hacks for spreadsheets. And this will actually go through and do um, the hacks and, and, and then you, all you do is now you have 100 videos I ideas. Again, make sure it's good quality stuff. Here's quick fill, here's that, here's this or the other. And you'll start to see 
a lot of these will actually get views. It's a, it's a strategy rather than, hey, I hope this works. Excel Quip Tick, the fill handle. There's a video on exactly what I'm talking to you about with almost 300,000 views, 15,000, 170, uh, 700,000, on and on we go. Again, all of this stuff is leading to something bigger. What is it that we can do? Maybe there's a course on Excel that we can be an affiliate of. Maybe there's a Excel AI tool that we can be an affiliate of. Maybe there's this or that or the other. Software and tools, this is another big one, right? You start to look at this. There's um, a guy I worked with years ago. Uh, what's his name? Um, Matt. And he does AI videos. And he does all kinds of videos on the latest AI tools. And that's what he does. He makes a full-time living doing it. All he's doing is reporting on the news of the new AI tools that come out. And again, watch how this works. Okay, it's still going on the, uh, the uh, spreadsheet one. If I was to go here and say, okay, uh, please list 100 new AI tools and what they do. And it'll go through and it'll list the tools. And again, we are basing this on stuff that's either getting views getting searches, gets viewed on Pinterest, gets viewed on other platforms. Matt Wolf, that's the one. Um, and you can see with his, that's what he does, right? All he's doing is going through uh, AI tools, AI news, um, a prompt, all different things, all about AI stuff. And the amount of traffic they get and the money they make is insane. Um, very easy, right? Um, again, it does take work, like the dude's working his tail off doing the content, um, but you make a lot of money doing it. Now, can you do that with AI? Yes, you could. You could review the different tools. You could say, okay, um, here's a tool called Einstein for Salesforce, Data Robot. And what's happening is this is going through and it's making the content in an easy way and you're like, okay, does it get views? Well, let's prove the concept. Bard, do people look up Google Bard? Boom, um, you have uh, Bard, 208,000 views, 1.5 million, um, 111,000, almost a million, 34,000. On and on we go, and we start to look at this and say, hey, wait a minute, this actually works. And then even going into lower stuff, because if you're a newer channel and you make a video on Bard, it's probably not gonna do that great because it is a little on the competitive side. But what if I was to go down here and say, well, maybe I can do Grammarly AI. Okay, does Grammarly have some AI tool? AI, and it probably does. Okay, how to use Grammarly AI to improve your writing? Grammarly AI, obviously that's working. Here's another one, 11 million views for generative AI Grammarly. And we start to realize, wait a minute, this is something that can absolutely work and I can make an AI video on how to use Grammarly AI. And then how am I gonna make money? Well, I'm gonna go sign up for the Grammarly affiliate program and make money that way. Uh, quotes and verses is another good one. What I would recommend doing is find quotes and verses in a specific topic. A buddy of mine, um, Evan Carmichael did this and he did self-help quotes and verses in the business niche. And he built himself up as a pillar in the business community, makes millions of dollars a year and all he's doing is quotes in something. Maybe you do quotes in marriage and relationships, okay? You're gonna point them to marriage and relationship counseling or something like that. Um, very specific. Another one is specific niche products. Can I do, um, what was the other one? I found one the other day. It was inflatable something um, or PLR, right? The PLR one was a really good one. Um, there was one for inflatable that was, I was like, hey, this could be good because it could be, you literally just find different inflatable products. Let's see here. There it is, inflatable paradise. All right, this domain cost me a whopping $5. What do I do? I go find crazy inflatable stuff on Amazon. There's a ton of it. And I start, um, I start using that. Let's see, let's prove this one. I think this would be actually kind of fun. Um, let's do inflatable, hopefully we won't get anything weird. I know some people buy some weird inflatable stuff. Uh, let's see, inflatable, um, yeah, so inflatable, inflate uh, something like that. 
let's see if it uh, shows on the keyword tool. Again, we'll probably have some interesting ones here. Um, and I'll show you some hacks as well, like this one here and how I found them. There's the nails one. Let's do inflatable. I'm going to do this off screen just so we don't get weird stuff. Seems okay, I hope. Yeah, so there's quite a few interesting things here from inflatable hot tub, pool, kayak, tent, an inflatable tent, water slide, costumes, um, dinosaur costume, boat, mattress, couch, paint booth. I mean, there's so many things here that there will be content forever. Uh, like Jill says, I found inflatable clubhouse for a bar in your backyard. Exactly. And this is kind of thing, ladies and gentlemen, it's kind of like what this guy did over here uh, for This Is Why I'm Broke. He started the site, thisiswhyimbroke.com, and Truth Future says, worth a try. Don't try it, do it, right? If you do it and you keep on the thing, like this guy, This Is Why I'm Broke, he talks about all different kinds of things um, that you can buy, like whatever this taco thing is, uh, monster truck limousine, ear cleaning headphones. Okay, so there's something where you could do content about how to clean your headphones or something like that. Or funny Crocs. You could literally be a channel about the craziest Crocs. And I think there was like Croc cowboy boots, which is like, I don't know who invented those, but you need to be kicked off the fashion community. You know, I just, just saying. Uh, mini jet boats, different things like that. And you can find you know, maybe you go through and do inflatable or something like that. But again, pairing these with a Pinterest strategy, I would go through and find all the products that are inflatable. And then what do I do? On that one, it's going to be an Amazon play. I'm going to link to it because people that see it are going to be interested in buying it. Am I going to get a huge commission? No. Is it going to convert good because it's Amazon? Yes. Am I going to get a bunch of traffic that I wouldn't otherwise get? Yes. Very simple. Um, ways to make money or side hustles. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a niche that works crazy. All you would have to do is make a pin, make a video, and say, hey, here's side hustle number one, side hustle number two. There are so many side hustles out there, it's not even funny, and this is a way to build it up. Uh, number 14 is WordPress tools. Okay, my end game on this is going to be web hosting, WordPress software, affiliate offers in the WordPress niche. Very, very simple. Um, another one is stocks, stocks, literally showing screenshots of stocks that go up and down, and all you're doing is reporting on information. You don't have to be a stock guru. You don't have to be anything. You're just going to say, oh, well, you know, um, Tesla stock went up or down. Bitcoin went up or down. Here's a chart. Here's this. And you're showing good info. Now, let me give you a tip. When creating content like this, Think about what else they can do, okay? So I have uh, Bitcoin went up and down, uh, Tesla went up and down. What are five other stocks and how did they perform? You put those in your video, you put those on the pin, that way they have something good to look at. Or if you're doing the inflatable thing, here's the inflatable slide, all right? What are similar products? Here's the inflatable water slide, inflatable pool slide, inflatable, whatever, okay? Starting to look at it as what we're going to do is we're going to compile information using AI in a different way that's entertaining and good using AI for the voice if you want to. You could use your own voice, whatever you want, um, and you're going to create that content that's going to get people interested. The key is having them interested in all one niche. If you're, st if you're doing stocks, stick to stocks you're doing inflatable, stick to inflatable. Do it good till you make a living. I guarantee you there are people out there in the inflatable markets that are making tons and tons and tons of money. Probably more than most people do going to work eight hours a day. And if I can say, okay, all I'm doing is finding and reporting on these inflatables. Find the price, find what they do, find what people are saying about them. Make it very strategic. Whatever I'm doing, it needs to be very, very strategic, okay? Painting ideas. This is one you can do for 
painting on your own or whatever it is. Um, someone says, I had no luck with the Amazon affiliate. Going to try it again with the summer stuff. And focus. Look at what you can do. Like, how do I inflatable? That will work with Amazon. You just need the traffic and you need to be consistent. Uh, painting ideas is a good one when looking at like um, home remodels or painters. You can, you can lead to painters. Those pay really well if we did uh, offer vault for like painters or something like that. Painter, right? $20 a lead, $14 a lead, 12, on and on we go. Uh, really good stuff there, okay? Another one, we can look at wedding dresses. Right, this is a good one. The end game is going to be getting them into um, a printable wedding guide or something like that. Again, I could do. Here are the fifty craziest wedding dresses that AI came up with. Um, another one here is for crafts. What kind of crafts are people looking up? This is a little bit harder of one. You're going to have to do a little bit more work, and it's pretty saturated. But there are niche crafts you can do, like. You know, um, I saw one yesterday, which was like turning your tree into like a fairyland or something like that, fantasy type art. It was pretty cool. Um, and I don't know if we have it listed here, but it was like um, mini gardens. That's what it was. Another one is multiplication charts, right? You just make charts, you read them, you make a video or have AI read them. Here's how to use them. Horoscopes is always a big one. Body weight and food charts, always a huge one. Landscaping ideas, this is a great one. You could literally go over to Midjourney, create landscaping ideas, and then your end game is going to be landscape. Custom landscaping, $3 a lead. That's a zip submit, ladies and gentlemen. Do you know what that means? They put their zip code in and you get three bucks. So you're like, hey, go to my site to get a landscaping quote. Um, they put their, e their zip code in and you get paid. Here's one for landscapers near you and lots of other offers. Make sure that the offers you use are legit and good. Um, types of fonts, believe it or not, um, I had a font site, made a lot of money with my font site before I sold it. I woke up one day on my font site. We were giving away fonts and I got $2 when they downloaded the font program. Um, I found one day I woke up and I sold $600 in fonts, which was pretty crazy. Um, coffee bar ideas, very good one there. Bedroom ideas, again, these are going to lead to uh, remodel type stuff. All stuff here does really, really well. Um, 80s fashion, this would be more or less a YouTube play or a, um, sorry, an Amazon play. Very cool. Uh, feelings chart, this is a good one. Watch this. You could explain feelings charts online and you will see on Pinterest, feelings chart um, does really well. It's always trending. For this kind of thing, um, I would do books on Amazon. I would do Etsy stuff where you can download a magnetic print feelings chart and put it on your fridge or whatever it is. And then I would also do um, better help therapy. Therapy. Yeah. So better help pays $180 a lead or a sign up, uh, talk space, 150, online therapy, really, really good stuff here um, that you can promote. And that works really well with a feelings chart. And you can explain different feelings and what they mean and how it works with the chart and different things like that. Uh, MP says, I could have done body weight for my medical practice. Yeah, you could. I would be very careful with medical stuff, but it sounds like you have a practice, so I'm sure you know what you're doing there. Uh, gift ideas, this is a big one. Right, you have gift ideas. When you look at this, gift ideas here, right? All kinds of different gift ideas um, that they promote, which is really cool, really easy. Again, AI generated would not be difficult to do. For this, I would become an affiliate at like a gift basket place or um, flowers or something like that. Um, let's see, do, 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 do. yeah, like gifts for meat. There's a lot of people do that. Um, or even something like, uh, what was it, flowers. Flowers do really well. Enjoy flowers. Uh, from you flowers. Um, those work good, too, for you know anniversary gifts. Maybe uh, there's like bracelets and things like that that pay extremely well. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how sales are run online. When you look at TikTok, when you look at YouTube, when you look at Pinterest, they move 
product unlike anything you've ever seen before. But what we're seeing is most people are, are big influencers that do all kinds of crazy niches. For the people that just want to make money online and make good content around what people are searching for and get paid, we need to stay tight niche, right? Maybe you're talking about the best products for live streaming or whatever it is. All kinds of different things that work really, really well. Again, we have uh, fantasy art, pets. Pets are always a good one. You could do uh, the best pet stairs, the best pet insurance, the best pet this, the best that. Um, measurements, this is one where you can do uh, different types of measurements, like oh, how many cups are in a gallon, how many tablespoons are in a cup. Different things like that work really well. And then what we're going to do is we're going to point them to kitchen gadgets, right? We could do kitchen knives, we could do uh, cooking things, all kinds of stuff like this, where it's like, okay, here's your um, very specific things. But how many of you guys, smash a like button if you're seeing that this is different than a lot of the other YouTube faceless niche videos, because all they're doing is giving you ideas with no rhyme or reason. And you're going to go try them and you're going to find out, hey, uh, it's hard to get traffic. And even when I do get traffic, I don't make any money. This is something where we have a built-in money maker. And I will tell you, using this on the channels that I use works like crazy. And we're seeing like 5 to 10% of the money come from just monetization. Lots of the money, 95% coming from different things like this with a strategic plan. Very strategic. Um, and, you know, you can go to Etsy and find different measuring cups or different things like that. Um, printable. Printable is a very good one. When you look at um, Pinterest and you do printable, okay, again, do both. Make pins and make videos. Printables, free printables, food printables. What are people looking for? They are looking for, like, printable food chart. Food chart, right? Look at this. Food pyramid, food chart. Um, how to control your food, food guides. I mean, you start to look at this, and you're like, oh, this is about a strategy. This isn't like the other stuff I've seen where there's no rhyme or reason. They're just telling you to put content up so that you keep watching their videos, and maybe hopefully one day you'll buy their stuff, and who knows if it's good or not. This is something you don't need to buy my course. Okay, is it going to help you? Well, if you bought one of the domains and stuff, yeah. Like if you bought the nails domain, is that going to help you? Yeah, you're going to be light years ahead of where you'd be because there's a strategy built in. But again, you could do this on your own. Fishing, big niche. Um, again, what we're going to do is we're going to find a product in the fishing market, maybe fishing insurance or license or a specific lure or whatever it is. Another one I found was uh, people looking up, I think it's called a cricket circuit heat guide. Another one, printable for seniors. Oh, wait, wait a minute, Marcus. I never heard of printable for seniors. What is that? Well, when you start to look at a niche like this, you can find all different kinds of things people are looking up for, like printable senior guide. Here's exercises. Here's um, remembering things, chair exercises. I actually have a student of mine. Um, we sold him the site about chair exercises. He ranks like number five for a bunch of words. If he did a video strategy on it, it'd be crazy. Um, and we start to look at, okay, printable, let's just do printable seniors. Um, you could even do like memory printable stuff. Very simple. Um, ED says the main problem for online business is to get traffic. And the problem is solved right here. Because you look at it and you're like, well, maybe I want to do a Medicare thing right? Medicare for seniors. Lots of money there. Maybe I can do something like seniors. Hopefully there's nothing weird there. There's a couple of weird ones. Banking for seniors. That can work really well. Okay, so maybe you can do like reminder for seniors. Reminder. There we go. Got to have an N. Reminder for seniors. Pill reminder for seniors. Medication reminder. Reminder watches. Um, all kinds of stuff like that where it's like, okay, now you have something where you're going to provide value. Here's how to keep the seniors on top of this, a weight chart, blood pressure chart. Again, going into this niche, you're going into the health niche, but not talking about health. 
Does that make sense? Like instead of, oh, here's what to do to lower this. No, no, I'm not a doctor. I'm not going to talk about that. Here's a chart to keep track of your blood sugar. Ah, that can work. Then all I got to do is point to, maybe there's an offer here for like uh, a blood sugar tester. Right? There you go. Tons of offers for blood sugar. How am I going to get that traffic? Well, you know, if you try to do a website on blood sugar, you're going to get hosed. I mean, you're going to deal with people like WebMD and all these other stuff. There's all these regulations. However, if all I do is tell people how to keep track of their stuff, here's a free chart. Make a video, make a pin, give the free chart away on your website. Bada bing, bada boom, there you go. And you start to realize, okay, what other kinds of charts do people want? This is content that is so, so easy. Blood pressure chart, BMI chart. And you start to realize, oh, there you go. Here's five foods that are proven to lower your BMI. AI can make it work in a very, very simple way. Jill says, I paid for an auto pillbox for my mom, sold for $400 18 years ago. Exactly. And I mean, I'm only 40-something, and I forget what I take half the time. Luckily, I only take like three things. But hey, I got the whole internet in my brain somehow. <laughs> so it's not much room for other things. That was a joke. I only have like a tiny, tiny, tiny percentage of the stuff. Uh, Money-saving tips. I mean, how many tips can you come up with and make pins and videos on? Vacation guide. Uh, this is one I actually found. Check this guy out. He was doing Hawaii vacations, and it was a Hawaii vacation guide. That's all his Pinterest was about. Uh, 80, 81,000 monthly views. You're like, oh, hey, here's uh, vacation hacks, Hawaii vacation hacks, uh, what other stuff? Uh, farming, gardening, hydroponics, very easy niche to make content in. House cleaning hacks, grocery lists and templates, grocery hacks, eat this, not that. Tons of good content, eat this, not that. Get my guide on, on uh, this other stuff. Uh, bill of sale template, gift certificate, gift certificate template. You want a good way to find businesses that want more business? Make a gift certificate template. Zoom backgrounds for people who want um, cool backgrounds for Zoom. You can make tons of Zoom backgrounds using AI, and then you can talk to them about um, different job things and stuff like that. And if you look at it, Zoom backgrounds, look at the views these get. Tons and tons and tons of views. And you start to realize, oh, wait a minute. All I need to do is find the thing that is going to make me money. Um, color match, this is a good one. Color matching, like maybe you're going to do um, different uh, match colors for painting your room or um, emotions, things like that. Bathroom remodel ideas, mini gardens and fairy gardens, must have products for X, must have products for seniors, must have products for live streamers, gamers, car buffs, radio enthusiasts, whatever it is, um, having must-have products in a specific niche. But the problem is, is a lot of people are going to tell you just do must-have products. No, no, no. Must-have products for. Pick a group. Keep it very contained. Because what's going to happen is instead of making a thousand videos to make it work, I could probably make 20 and start to get some good data. Uh, language mispronounced. This was an interesting one. So when looking at this, um, if you were to do Offer Vault or whatever, and you do like language um, or learn a language or whatever, okay, this is not what we want. Let's do, uh, uh, okay, I don't know how we're going to find it, but there's a couple, let's see here. I know there's a way to find these. There's lots of language programs out there, um, how to speak a different language, unfortunately, the Opera Vault's not doing the thing there. Let's try this language. You can even sell Grammarly there. So like this here, Rocket Languages, that's what we're looking for. $100 a sale, how to speak all these different things. Um, some other stuff here. Okay, so we'll probably do Rocket Language. That's a good one. It's proven. Makes money. Um, when you look at the language stuff, what they were doing is mispronounced languages and things like that. Um, mispronounced, this, this stuff here, right? Say it right. 
um, different things. And what you can do, there was one I found, they were doing common mispronounced words in different languages, which was like, okay, these are probably people that are traveling, which is really, really cool. Um, here's some mispronounced ones here, common mispronounced. So promoting Grammarly and stuff like that would be fantastic. Makeup and beauty, this is a golden one where you talk about different uh, beauty types and things like that, which AI would work fantastic. Uh, bad foods for your pets. Yep, that was one. Um, there's actually a domain I looked at the other day that worked really well for that one. Is a good idea to have a YouTube channel with shorts only? Use shorts if you don't want to make long-form content. Is it bad or good to have shorts? Well, shorts, you'll typically get more traffic, but the traffic will make less. Okay, so like where some people will get uh, 50 million views on a short, are they going to get 50 million views on a long term? Well, yeah, maybe if you're Mr. Beast, but you know, you have to look at this and really understand exactly what's going on um, and make it very simple. Uh, Sunny says, yeah, exactly. Duolingo, Rosetta Stone, all those um, very good ones, right? Um, get rid of domains. Yeah, get rid of could work, but it's not necessarily for charts. That would be like, you know, how to get rid of cockroaches or whatever it is um, they're looking to get rid of. And starting to look at this, I think, let's see if I can find the one that had that stuff. Because if I could find that one, I, I had some examples for you. Um, yeah, here was the, the printable cricket one or cricket or whatever it is. Um, there was another one that had the specific grammar stuff because the grammar one i mean that's such low-hanging fruit here's a stock example look at the look at the followers and views this is all about investing four million monthly views and guess what he's telling you he makes eight thousand dollars a month using pinterest alone imagine if he had a video strategy as well and a lot of his pins are just talking about um, different stock stuff and i with that traffic i think he could be making a lot more money Let's take a look at some others here. Um, and you're seeing how this works, because if you pair this with Pinterest, YouTube, and a domain name, and your own blog, that's a business. All right, just making videos that you think are going to help, I mean, that ain't really going to work. Here's the gift ideas, 3 million monthly views. Um, let's see. I know I had the one for the misspelling somewhere. Here's one for um, building woodworking, right? Pretty simple. Again, all you would have to do is get the um, get the woodworking thing and then go through and, and, and look at um, ex explaining it on a video. Very simple. Here's one for, um, let's see, this was clean breakfast. We went through that one. And again, what are some clean breakfast foods? Guys, this is not rocket science. This is actually a very simple strategy. People overcomplicate it. Doesn't have to be. Here's another stock one, 13,000 monthly views on that. Um, and again, pairing this with video stuff is game over. Let's see, there's a, I don't know where that one was. Let me see if I can find it real quick because I liked that one example. Let's try Spanish. Okay, yeah, so Spanish you have like posters, right? That They're linking to Etsy. That could be something you could do. Here's another one. And what we're going to do, uh, 15, 115 common Spanish phrases you could use every day. Language, lords, here you go. So this here, half a million views. And all they're doing is here's all the words. And you know what's funny? They don't even show the words. If it was me, I'd put the actual words on there, right? I'd make a good pin that was like, hey, Let's give you the actual words. Here's one um, that has the differences here. Here's uh, most common phrases, Spanish to English. Good morning. You know, I mean, dude, AI could make this in two seconds. All I would have to do is be like, hey, AI, make this here. Watch. Make a table. Please make a table of most common Spanish. And English. So I would go through. I'd make the table. Okay, the table is going to be my pin, and then all I would have to do is have this, like have an AI created voice and explain it. 
today we're talking about the top English phrases. Now, when using AI, if we're using Sora, if we're using other tools when they're out, we want to do human-directed AI. I don't want to just give this to InVideo and have it make a video. Okay, what's going to happen? It's going to be too literal. Could you help me is going to be an image and a video that's about that when our video is not about that. Our video is about Spanish to English. So um, when we go through, we make that work in a very, very simple way. Um, but here's your, here's your chart. Like, is that not what that guy was doing? Where'd he go? There he is. I mean, that's pretty much what he's doing. Right? And then he has the pronunciation. Let's, let's do that. Now add a column for pronunciation, right? And it'll go through and do that, and then all you have to do, what I would do if it was me, I'd get like nice number one, choom, flies in. Number one is buenos dias. Here's how it's spelled. Here's how it's said, right? Hola, and come on, this is doing the work for you. And this is something so simple uh, you could do, uh, let's do mistakes Spanish. Look at the views. Tons and tons of stuff. And we start to realize, hey, this actually works. This is based on stuff that works. It's based on an end game of making money, right? And that's literally all we have to do. Go to downloadmynotes.com to get this list of 50 niches. We're going to beef it up. We're going to give you all kinds of um, money-making methods and everything like that with each of the niches. Thanks for suffering through the audio issues we had in the beginning. Very difficult to make sure everything's on tune because I don't hear what you guys hear until you tell me. And even then, I don't hear it. I just get a little wiggly line that says no audio or yes audio. Um, so I appreciate that. If you want to learn from me, check out highticketniches.com. Um, that's where you can get a domain. These are the domains I buy and, and build up as businesses, right? This is what we do all the time. Uh, like this, flyendless.com. That would be one for air travel, uh, betting versus. Um, these are ones that we use for our high ticket niches to help people make money in a very simple way. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is all about strategy. It's not about guesswork. It's not about here's a cute niche because I think it's cute. It's about very strategic Go in there, build the content, extract the money, make it work, help people out, use AI to make the job easier, and bada bing, bada bang, there you go. Smash that like button, check out downloadmynotes.com to get the free notes and tons of other money getting stuff, and I'll see you in the next.